CNTC asks Nagaland government to resume oil exploration and extraction. Dimapur Municipal Council imposes total ban on single-use plastic items. Nagaland rescued pangolin relocated to natural habitat. Situation of Zilyangrung people not same with other Naga tribes by ZCOs. Maharashtra political crisis. Whoever wants to come back, our doors are open, says Aditya Takre. News in details. CNTC asks Nagaland government to resume oil exploration and extraction. The Central Nagaland Tribes Council has appealed to the government of Nagaland to resume oil exploration and extraction in the state while assuring its full cooperation. In a letter to the Chief Minister, the CNTC stated that the state government has failed to take any action on its repeated appeals to resume oil exploration and extraction in the Nagaland. It said that the advancement in technology will render the usage of fossil fuel reductant and the natural oil reserve in the state will become valueless in due course of the time. It is therefore pertinent to utilize our natural oil reserve immediately so that there is also sufficient internal revenue generation for the government and also for the benefit of the landowners. Read the letter. Dimapur Municipal Council imposes total ban on single-use plastic items. The Dimapur Municipal Council on Monday informed the public that single-use plastic items are totally banned in its jurisdiction in pursuance to the Circular of Urban Development Department issued earlier last month. The government of Nagaland had imposed a total ban on plastic items in 2019, but its implementation was disrupted by the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. The DMC has once again notified all the shopkeepers, business establishment, open vendors, banquet halls, religious institutions, hotels, restaurants and offices that all single-use plastics are banned within its jurisdiction with immediate effect. The failure to comply with the ban will attract a fine of rupees 2000 and may even lead to cancellation of trade license, informed the circular issued by the DMC administrator Albert Izzam. Nagaland rescued pangolin relocated to natural habitat. Changwang Konyak, resident of Sataka town in Zunabato, rescued an endangered Chinese pangolin from its locality and handed over to Dizu Valley Biodiversity Conservation and Livelihood Network, which was later released at Sutke Community Conservation Area. The TBB CLN team leader, Ivan Zimomi, has acknowledged the good deeds done by the Changwa Konyak for finding the safest place for the endangered animals. He remarked that such noble gestures towards the endangered species should be followed by all responsible citizens of the state. Situation of Zilyangrung people not same with other Naga tribes by ZCOs. Zilyangrung civil organization on Monday stated that it was required for leaders of civil society to know the progress and details of the Naga political dialogue from the negotiating groups. It said that many Zilyangrung brothers were enrolled in almost all the Naga political groups that is NSCN IM, NSCN, NSCN NK, NSCN NNC, FGN, etc. apart from ZUF which are engaged in political negotiation with the government of India. Adding that, Zilyungrung community was one of the stockholders of Naga political issue, therefore there was no reservation or hesitation to sit across the table with any political groups in a free and fair manner who are engaged in political negotiation with the government of India. The situation of Zilyangrung people is not same with the other Naga tribes because Zilyangrung people are not concentrated in specific areas nor confined in a single subdivision district or state but lives in different areas, subdivision district or state where different laws of the respective states are being administered upon. What is applicable in Manipur state is not practicable in Nagaland and Assam or vice versa. In Maharashtra political crisis. Whoever wants to come back, our doors are open, says Aditya Thakriye. Maharashtra minister and Shiva Sena leader Aditya Thakriye has said the party will welcome... The party will welcome those who want to come back. There are two groups of people in Guwahati. There's a group of 15 to 16 people who are in touch with us, some of them recently. The other group is the one that has run away. 
They have no courage and morality. They conceived an entire conspiracy when CM was incapacitated as a CM to work 24 into 7. Even then he was working, whoever wants to come back, our doors are open. If those in revolt are truly courageous, resign and have the courage to stand in front of us. That's all for now. To get such don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.